Okay, so first attach the hub to the rail like so. Then attach a bolt and then you attach the other hub. Hey, everybody makes mistakes. Ever have one of those days when you know exactly where the solder joint is, but then you go to the one three spaces away from it? I'm having one of those days. Then you attach the wheels. so that they still roll, but they're nice and tight so that they won't fall off to both sides of the cart. Repeat for the other side. Okay, next we will start building the arm. Make sure you use the side without a nut. See how one side has a nut and the other doesn't. You can tell by a little knot. and you insert it inside. This is probably one of the trickiest parts on the whole thing. Then it in the base. Make sure you have a nice hole. I like to use a DS stylus just to make sure it's straight. Screw it in. Make sure you can still adjust it. Next. Warning the nuts get loose. If you, if you point the hole up, you shouldn't have that problem. Next, you put one of these little black thing, little black washer things, and you attach, and since this side has a nut, you attach it to the side without a nut. I use the DS stylus to get this straight. Let's 
screw it in. And now we attach this part. You put the teeth together like an overbite. with the flat parts together. And you use the long bolt to screw it in. This one probably takes the longest because of how long it is. We can probably stop there. And then you use your last little black thing to attach the head to the arm. And these attach to the head and now we will attach base to the arm to the cart and you have your rig. If you have any questions, please post it in the comments.